Hello everybody and welcome to the newest episode of the Spring Cleaning Movie Project in which I take every movie off my shelf that I haven't seen and do short reviews on each one of them. So, this last movie I watched was The Big Heat. Uh, it's a film noir, came out in 1953. It was directed by Fritz Lang, who's uh, a very famous Austrian-German director who also did Metropolis and M before he moved to the United States um, and did Scarlet Street and a few other big ones. But um, yeah, The Big Heat. Uh, this one stars Glenn Ford, uh, Gloria Graham, uh, Jocelyn Brando, who's Marlon Brando's sister, and Lee Marvin. Um, it's really great. It's a, you know, it's a solid film noir. Um, maybe not the one of the best ones I've ever seen, but I, mean, I gave it four stars. Um, you know, it, it plays with the noir format a little bit. Like, you know, noir has those qualities to it where there's going to be a, usually a femme fatale. There's going to be deep shadows, costumes, those dark locations, private eye, detective story. Um, the thing about the big heat, I think, is that it really lands the tone of noir. There's there's a lot of corruption, and he's he keeps going deeper, and uh, things are pulled back, and just it's a very negative and brutal film. I I wanted to read this quote I found because the thing about noir is that it's got those de those first few definitions I said, but it also all of them, none of them really stick to what a classic noir means. I mean, this one came in 53. It's like right in the heart of the noir time period. So, like, what is a noir? Um, I found this cool quote where, so uh, he's a film an analyst, Eddie Mueller. He said, If a private eye is hired by an old geezer to prove his wife's cheat on him, and the shamus discovers long-buried family secrets and solves a couple of murders before returning to his lonely office, that's detective fiction. If the same private eye gets seduced by the geezer's wife, kills the old coot for her, gets double-crossed by his lover, and ends up shot to death by his old partner from the police force, I can say with complete assurance, you are wallowing in noir. So, the big heat, pretty much, like, the, the main detective, uh, he, there's, there's a suicide from a police captain, and it's pretty clearly a suicide. And he still thinks something's a little fishy going on, and he gets a call from this lady who is kind of seeing seeing uh, the guy on the side from his wife and uh, she's convinced that it's not a suicide but um, she winds up dead like the next day and it's probably because he was she was talking to her and so he keeps he starts going deeper into the mystery and he finds out that there's this whole there's this gangster who's basically controlling all the police and p other officials in the go government the mayor and it's just like they tell him to back off but he's like you know he's he's a good cop. He's going deeper into it. Uh, so then his his wife dies. Like there's an explosion in his car, and it was supposed to be for him, but it was his wife. And so he totally like loses it. He like he's obsessed. And um, I mean I don't really want really to give away too much of the movie because I you know I think it's really great. But yeah, the one thing about this movie is that's really brutal. I mean Lee Marvin is like this like he's not the main gangster, but he's you know, one of the main guys, and he's just like, he's just slapping women, and he throws a pot of coffee in his girlfriend's face and scars her. It's like, there's some real brutality and in, in, in intense scenes in this movie. Um, but yeah, I would definitely, uh, I would definitely recommend this movie, um, The Big Heat, um, especially if you're interested in noir. You know, it's definitely a, a style of film from from the past, but. I I really like noirs. So, yeah, The Big Heat, I would recommend this movie. So, um, thanks for watching, and check out our podcast, uh, The Monthly Movie Dispatch. We're putting out a new episode this week. So, um, thanks a lot, and have a nice day.